Hey everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to open up Git Bash, create a folder, and create a file inside that folder. So we'll get started by first opening Git Bash. If you don't already have Git Bash, you can download it from their website, git-scm.com. All right, we're going to go ahead and open this up. Perfect, we'll hit next. We'll go ahead and add the additional icon on the desktop, leaving all of these checked. Hit next again. We'll be using Vim, which is the default. We'll click the second option here to use Git from the command line and third party software. Hit next. Here we're going to use the OpenSSL library and then we'll use the second option, check out as is. We'll also use the Windows default console window. Perfect, we can leave all of these checked and finish by clicking install. All right, we'll just give it one moment here. All right, perfect. We can go ahead and hit finish now. I'm going to check the checkbox to launch Git Bash when we're done. All right, so if you haven't already, make sure you open up Git Bash by either clicking on the desktop shortcut or going to the bottom left corner and typing in Git Bash. Now, the first thing that we're going to see is a bit of text at the top that tells us what directory we're in in our computer. From here, we can type ls and it'll show us all the files and folders that we have in this directory. Now we're going to go ahead and make a new folder by typing mkdir space and then the name of what we want to call this folder. I'm going to go ahead and call it example. So now we'll type ls again and we can see that example is now in that directory. We can change into that directory by typing cd space and then the name of the directory we want to change into. In this case it's example. Now if we type ls again, we can see the directory is empty. So we're going to type touch space example.md. md is just a file extension for markdown that you'll learn about later. It's similar to .txt for text. So we'll hit ls again and we can see the example.md is now in our folder. So that's how you create a folder, create a file inside that folder, and list all the contents inside a folder using git bash.